Hey folks, today we're going to look at the four types of coastal erosion. Um, I actually can't believe I haven't made this one yet, I should have made it years ago. Uh, it's really simple and it's going to massively help you um, if you're trying to lock down those key terms. So if you start by just drawing a line, if you have a ruler that would obviously be good, um, but if you break your page into four, kind of like that, that's perfect. And then we're going to write the names of them to start with. So we're going to put um, abrasion in the top left, attrition, top right, solution, bottom left, and hydraulic action. Hydraulic action. There we go. Bottom right. There we go. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to draw, I'm going to change pens for this, we're going to draw our cliff basically in all of them. So take a minute just to, and remember it doesn't have to be perfect at all, just kind of like something like that. So we want a little bit of cliff and then a sort of sloping beach in all of them. There we go. Sloping beach and one more cliff. There we go, perfect. Right, if you have another colour, if you've got a blue, that would be awesome for the waves, but really don't worry if you haven't. Um, I'm just gonna start, we can actually start down here with hydraulic action. The reason I'm starting here is hydraulic action is the most powerful type of erosion. So I'm gonna draw some really big sort of crashing waves. If you can put some really nice big waves on yours. Um, and then the next one that comes after hydraulic action, the next most powerful, is up here. I'm going to draw them a little bit smaller, but not much. Okay, some nice big waves for abrasion. Okay, and then attrition and solution, they're still, they still matter. They're still types of erosion. You still need to know them. But I'm going to put some smaller waves in for this one. And then an almost a kind of flat C solution okay perfect so yeah if we start with um if we start with hydraulic action that's a good place to begin straighten that up so hydraulic action is the force of the waves pushing air into cracks in the cliff so the cliff um there's another video on how cliffs retreat and how stacks are formed but basically you've got the sub aerial processes down here which basically just means, it's a fancy word for saying, not in the air. <laughs> so where the sea is hitting, down here, is where we get these kind of cracks happening in the cliff. So if you want to draw a couple of cracks like that. Okay, now I I used to think years ago, and, and some of my students sometimes get this wrong, and um, they think the same. It's the water going into the cliff in the crack. Um, it's not... Of course the water gets in there, but it's actually, the fact it's hydraulic, it's air pressure. So it's the air being pushed in first. So these big waves come in, slam into the cliff, and they push air into the cracks. And that's, that's what weakens the rock. It's this pressurised air that actually has a huge impact. So we'll just put an arrow to that. I'm going to swap pens again. So if we just write a little definition, so waves push air into the cracks so it kind of goes in before the water yeah comma weakening the rock okay and over time that can have a huge impact you know that can cause these big kind of um, wave cut notches and eventually the, the cliff will retreat so that's hydraulic action it's the biggest most powerful form of erosion so if you want to well you can see it with the waves can't you if you remember that right if we go to abrasion next abrasion is the next biggest one now the water isn't just water it has sediment and it has stones shingles shells all kinds of stuff going on in there um so if we draw just some little bits and pieces i guess like that in the wave okay so as the waves are headed to the shore and they're about to crash onto the cliff they contain this sediment they contain this stuff um, I'm use a different pen here. and what happens is um, as they kind of hit the cliff they crash into it 
and it's a bit like sandpaper. That's what I say to my students. It's like sandpaper. It's like the wave is using some sandpaper to kind of wear away at the cliff face. Um, so let's put in brackets, let's put, let's put sandpaper effect. If you've never used sandpaper, go home and ask about it. <laughs> it's really rough, basically. Files it down. Uh, so yeah, so basically another arrow. We're gonna put waves hurl, it's kind of like throwing, or throw. Waves hurl stones at the cliff, um, wearing it down. Okay, so if you're in an exam question, it asks like a four marker, say asking about erosional processes, those are the two that I would talk about first, every single time, okay? The other two are important, but less so in terms of their impact. So next up would be attrition. Now, attrition is an interesting one. So obviously there's all that material in the waves themselves. And what happens when that water is moving around? Just like if you've ever been in the sea on a rough day or you've you know, been surfing, or you've been in the water, you get pulled around a little bit and pushed around. The same thing happens. These um, little bits of stone and shingle and shell, they all crash into each other. And when they do that, um, they smash into each other and they break down. So they get smaller. So they go from big to small. They might have even come from the cliff face originally. So let's have a, another arrow. We're gonna say waves cause uh, stones. I'm gonna say stones, but obviously it could be shells, could be any kind of rock. Um, waves cause uh, stones to hit into each other. And then when they smash together, they break. Okay, so they break them down. Um, breaking, waves cause stones to hit into each other, breaking them into smaller pieces. Okay, and eventually, you know, they can get really, really tiny, like sand. Okay, last one. Solution. Easy one to forget this one. So let's uh, let's try and remember this one. So basically, those pieces of shingle and stone exist here as well and they just get smaller and smaller. Now, this is a slower process, okay? It takes time. Oh, I'm just gonna put them away like that. So basically seawater is slightly acidic and rocks react with that like a chemical process. And basically the water over time can dissolve uh, types of rocks quicker than others, some slower, but they get smaller and smaller. Just like if you've ever worked with chalk, and you know, then you can wash it away with water. It's, if you leave chalk in water, it does, the water goes cloudy and it dissolves even in fresh water. So yeah, what we want to put for that one is water dissolves uh, rocks. And then in brackets, just remember there's that level of acidity in seawater. Okay, so yeah, quick, just quick on there, four types of erosion. Um, just remember that hydraulic action and abrasion, they're the big ones, uh, but the others are important too. Thanks.